for cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBankUT and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Poodle back from the Madden Ultimate Team video, and today we got these new team MVPs followed by our daily sniping tips and some market tips. So, as you guys can see, I gotta start with this before I get into anything. This is new Travis Kelsey. So, the stats are kind of underwhelming, but if you put him on my team with my chems and my, and I was thinking I already have a powered up Travis Kelsey, so it would be I'd be more coin efficient for me to just get this one and just finish him up for the year with a 99 tight end, and that'd be the end of it. So, he's got an 89 speed, 87 strength, 95 catch, 96 catch in traffic, 95 spec catch, 93 short route running, 89 medium, and an 83 run block, which is kind of upsetting. I hoped he would have got like an 87 run block, and then I could have got like a 90 run block in tight end, but you know how Madden is. So, if I toss, if I power this guy up, he'll have a 90 speed. If I toss Sprinter on him, plus my job, I could probably get him up to like a 94, 95 chem, and then maybe if I pull, uh, toss some chief chems on my team again. And I was also thinking, but I'll get, actually I'll get into that at the end of the video for now. Just stay tuned for that. Um, By the way, we hit 50 followers on Twitch. I want to thank you guys so much. We are now, if we do one more stream, we'll now be uh, part, uh, we'll be a Twitch affiliate and we can finally apply for that or whatever. They send me the email. So I appreciate that a lot. You guys really hooked me up with that. In only less than a week, I got, in less than a week in about three to four streams, I got affiliate status. So now I can start opening up the donations. I believe Super Chat and some emotes for you guys, which is really cool. So if you we now we now we're on the road to partnership. So if you guys haven't, go over to Twitch. The link will be down below. Go drop the follow on there. Also, be sure to sub and comment and like because we've been driving, we've been we've been grinding, we've been working on this content. And hoping you guys have been enjoying it, putting in the work on the Twitch too. So if you guys haven't, go drop the sub. Now back to this anyway. So I'm definitely gonna be picking up this Travis Kelsey. If that was you guys, I'd wait a little bit. His price will definitely go down. There's not very much on the block right now, and his price is already kind of low. So maybe he'll drop to like 500k. So if you guys just wait on that. I might not wait. I don't know yet. I, might, I don't know if I should save my coins because there's a lot of stuff I need to save for. To so go back to the regular team MVPs. So been looking on Twitter and been researching a little bit. So it seems like the combine promo should be coming real soon. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Andrew Norwell, what does he go for? Is that a snipe? Kind of. Kind of. But if I sell it, I'll be making coins here. Good to keep, though. Good, to, Definitely good to keep. So, anyways. So, the combine promo should be starting soon. And the consensus is that these scouts will be used for the combine players. So, I recommend that if you guys can get some of these for cheap, you save on them. Because they'll probably be like a net combine player set. Or get a combine player set. And you know who we could probably be seeing. Probably seeing some Chris Johnson. Some Odell. Maybe a Brandon Cooks. Um... Like, I can't think off the top of DR, uh, Dominic Rogers, Camardi. You know, the, the usuals that we usually see. So, if you guys are prepping for that, or you guys want, you guys like those cards every year, I highly recommend you get going on the, um, scout train. Because, just know, once they come out, if so, if it is with these scouts, like, it should be in there. The sets are as good as we think. You know these players are going to go back up to 600, 700k. You know how Madden works. You know how the Frost, uh, the Freeze promo went. So, just recommending to you now is what you, you guys hop on that now. These players have went down quite a lot. A lot, of, a lot of them are out of demand right now. Like Von Miller is down to 500k, which is crazy because he's one of the best cards in this promo. I really wanted him, but I think I'm just gonna stick it out. I had Marcus Ware for the rest of the year, right? That'd make more sense from a power up standpoint. And then um, Julio Jones is down a lot. So if you guys got a Falcons theme, or well, that's just who you like, go hop on him. And uh, so is Khalil. Khalil Max not down too much. These linemen are really good if you guys need linemen. Travis Kelsey. Did Travis Kelsey just sell out? Damn. How the, how the more expensive ones sell? Maybe they took it down and they're going to put it down for cheaper. I'll definitely be sitting on those. So, down to what I what you guys should be doing. So, the best value is probably these 98. So, if you guys can get them for about 450 to 460, that'd be an awesome deal. Just sit here all day, you know. Don't sit on this filter exactly. What you guys want to do is pick one specifically. So, um, pick one of them, like, let's say Bills for Jerry Hughes. And just sit on it because obviously the other ones aren't going to do it. Or just sit on offense or defense only because there's not that many. Now, if you guys go down, if you guys don't have this kind of coin. Let's see. We got, uh... These aren't going to be team MVP, so i got to change that. Okay, so let's see how much the 95s and 94s have went down. Okay, 196. They're still holding steady. These haven't really moved too much. But if you guys can get these for about 170 to 180, hop on that. That would be about, like, 12,000 scouts, which could be useful with the Combine promo. I recommend stocking up on some scouts now while you still have the chance because you know these guys will fly up in value once anything comes out. Now, 
the 95s we got same price 250s 250 mark uh you guys want these for about 220 230 250 is a little overpriced in my opinion i mean it's not like this probably it's gonna be a better value than these 94s but it's just it's just expensive for a 95 overall but like again if you're just going for the scouts go for the 95 get it for like 220 230 now um 92 93s let's see we got the 92s are at 108 and the 93s are at 130 so for the 93s get them down to about 115 120 that'd be a good price for them and then for the 92s you want these at about i'd say 95k 100k you always want to mark down to make up for the reduction i always click 90 to 91 every single time i do it every time and then for the 88s 27k like i've been saying you want these at about 19k and the uh the 89s you want it at about 24 25k that'd be good so now Getting out of these team builders, um, there's not much else right now. The Ultimate Legends, I don't have to speak about anymore. You can go watch my older videos. You guys already know those are the best ways to snipe right now. Ultimate Legends are the cheapest. Now, they dropped a new bundle today. Don't recommend you guys touch. 12,000 points, which is $100 for 12 team builders pack, which is okay, and a 97 overall fantasy pack, which sounded good, but it isn't that, which means that you guys are spending $100 mainly for a pack that gives you 16,000 coins. Think about it. If you don't get the player you want, you get 16,000 scouts, which is one more nap pack. And if you don't get that one, then you're below. So $100 at a chance of getting out of like the third to 20, whatever, you get two you want. So do not recommend at all on that pack. This one's okay if you want the scouts and the player, but I never do this one anymore because $5 gets a little repetitive over time. And then, uh, yeah, I got I to gotta open these, but these aren't worth it at the moment because of how the auction block looks. Now, question, guys. So we got some time left over after all that. What should I be doing with my team? Do we, okay, so I have... A few series of mine. I'll probably ask on Twitter. So, first, would you guys like to see a Giants or Chiefs themed team? So, I was looking at my binder, and I was deciding what I have the most of. And truthfully, I used to have a Chiefs theme earlier in the year. Not a Chiefs fan, just like the Chiefs. So, I would have Tyreek already. I'd have Travis Kelsey. I can get my homes, and I can make a Chiefs team pretty easily. Or, let me, let me filter by elites, because that'll make it a lot easier. No, because it's not going to show power-ups. Great. All right, so now let's go to Giants. We would have Saquon and Odell. I can get Landon Janoris pretty easily. So I don't know what you guys think about that. Um, I know I'm in line for some other ones, too. Um, no. Well, Bears wouldn't be bad either because I can put Khalil Mack there. Steelers. I would have Shazier, Franco Harris... I'd have Vic, and then uh, I wouldn't make a Patriots team, but I'd have Randy Moss. Even the a Raiders team wouldn't be bad either. I'd have Khalil Mack, and I'd have Randy Moss. I can't think right now, but I'd have some good cards there. I would never make a Cowboys team, but I would have Dion. I would have the Marcus Ware. But uh, yeah, I mean, just comment down below what theme teams you guys think I should make. That help a lot. I'm not really sure. Also. I've been trying to keep this channel only Madden, but as Madden starts to slow down a little bit, would you guys like to see some 2K, some NBA 2K19? You know, Maybe like a franchise mode, rebuilding the Knicks, skipping to free agency, seeing if I can get Durant, Kyrie, or someone, and then like doing the draft, throw Zahn and all them in the, in the draft and see what I could draft. So let me know what you guys would like to see. I feel like that'd be kind of cool. Or even some 2K My Team, doing a budget squad fresh from the beginning of the year, starting fresh with the budget team, working my way up. Let me know what you guys would like to see. I feel like that'd be cool too. And, um, yeah, it's about it for the themes. I mean, I can't think of anything else. That I've, even 49ers, but, like, I have nothing on there besides a kicker. Yeah, there's nothing really left for me on, after that. I mean, what was Vic on? Vic was an Eagle Steeler. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be able to use the majority of the players I have, which kind of sucks. Rams. I have Aaron Donald. So that's about it uh, as far as that goes. But any new series, so please comment down below. So we got, let's see, um, so I got, these are my ideas. Theme team. NBA 2K19, start doing a campaign game Let's Play on the channel, if you guys have any in mind, like a Red Dead or something, but if we, if we forget that for now, let's keep, it to, let's keep it to sports gaming, so we got 2K, My League, or Franchise Mode, we got um, 2K, uh, My Team, we got a Madden theme team, a Madden connected franchise, or Ultimate Team Challenges, per se. 
So those are the five. Just pick pick any pick any you like. Rank them down below. Comment them down below. Hit me up on Twitter. What, what do you think? Um, that's pretty much about it for the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you can comment on that and your guys' feedback as much as possible. So go over to Twitch. Drop that follow for me, please. It'll help me a lot. We're going. We're on the road to partnership now. We already got 50. We hit affiliate status. We're now going to need about 75 average viewers per day, which is going to take a lot, but we can get there in a few months. And then for YouTube, we're at about 235 subs on the road to 300 this month. We're a little behind, but I think we can catch up. If we start going, you know, we start hitting some um, overdrive right now. So if you guys could, I'd appreciate it a lot. Go drop the sub, comment down below, and like. On that road to 1,000 subs before July, that's the goal. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys later.